Besides referral clients, using Google Maps is probably one of my favorite ways to get clients. And in this video, I'm going to walk through how to do that step by step right after. All right, so here's the best thing about this strategy. You ready for it? Because it is so simple, but the key is that it requires work. And the reality is too many people are busy watching cat memes and waiting for the Amazon delivery that they don't want to put in the work. So if you are one who's willing to work hard as well as working smart, there's a great opportunity for you. So you ready for it? Here is the blueprint. Very simple. All we are doing is we're typing in on Google service in X city. And the other one that we are typing in is X near me. There it is. That is the blueprint on this strategy. So now the next step is I'm going to walk through what it is that we need to look for in order to approach clients. So there are two things that we all need. We are looking for websites that have bad reviews. In other words, three out of five star reviews or ratings on Google map. And the next one is we are looking at their website. So for more context on the reviews and ratings, if they have bad ratings, what we do is we set up an automated email campaign for this client to send to their customers or clients, let's say a week later, asking them to review the business or rate the business on Google. It's literally a simple question. And this strategy has helped me generate great reviews and ratings for my own clients. The next one is the website. So we are looking for four key things. Number one is long page loading times. Number two, bad SEO. Number three, bad designs. Number four, bad call to actions or not clear call to actions. Now, if you struggle with how to create an effective website or you're actually not sure about what to look for here, I created a video on web design tips for beginners that you can watch right over here, which goes through a lot of these nuggets in more detail. All right, now with that foundation out of the way, let us head straight to Google. So we've got a few search terms that we can search for in this strategy. I'm just gonna use an example to start with florist near me. So now what we do is we type it in, we go to maps. Next step, we need to look for our ideal candidate, our ideal client that we need to reach out to. So let's take a peek. Right now we can see pretty much all of them have over four stars. Perhaps this one might be a candidate, but I think this one bloom brigade might be an option to consider. Let's just keep looking. Hmm. It looks like Miami is sorted with their, with their flowers. Okay, so this is actually a good example because I don't find any that tickles my fancy here. So let's look at the next one. Optometrist near me. Same thing, we're gonna click on maps. So far, I like what I see. Number one is this one here. We've got 4.5109 ratings. This one has four stars, eight ratings. I would even make an exception and actually contact this person. So the next step is I'm gonna show you what to say, but for now, I just wanna highlight how I'm thinking about this and just show some examples. So in this case, I think Barry, uh, Barry might be an option. Let's take a look at a few more. This one for sure. This uh, family vision care, definitely. I think that's a great option. This one, yeah, UPMC Eye Center. Mr. Eye Doctor, great. So I'm not gonna go through all of them, I just wanna show you some examples. Uh, you know, 3.4, I think that's great. So these ones here, five out of five, you know, 267, they obviously have something going for them that's working, you know, so we're not gonna focus on these guys. We're looking at potential. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think let's leave it at that for, for optometrist near me. Let's look at vein, vein removal, Miami. Same thing, we're gonna go look at maps. All right, so number one, great. We can obviously see that they know what they're doing. Let's see if there are any others who might need our services. Ooh can see that there's I mean there's a lot of money in this in this industry so so a lot of them would would already hire freelancers and agencies so yeah I think this is looks like a saturated market oh there we go USA vein clinics I think that's definitely a an option to reach out to I think that's probably the only one so far that I would consider in this example next one let's look at landscapers in San Diego um, Okay, so this one might be an option. 
four out of 39 ratings. Uh, that's definitely an option so far. Uh, let's take a look at what else we have here. This one here, Bright View Landscape, definitely, without a doubt. They've got quite a lot of ratings, but it's 3.4. I'll definitely reach out to them. So let's look at the next one. Deck Installers Pittsburgh. Let's go have a look at the maps. All right, so this one here, number three, without a doubt, Hotchkiss Construction. Oh, it's a great and spicy lead there. Uh, Quake Estate Construction, for sure. Definitely a good lead. Uh, Deck A Construction, definitely a good lead. Even uh, Jacob Builders, I would consider that. But all of these ones, Legacy Remodeling, I would leave that. Uh, these other companies look what, know what they're doing, you know. Deck the Yards, probably RDC Modeling. Okay, so I think you guys can get the picture of what I would consider a pers good prospective client and lead to reach out to. Now, the next step is we've looked at the Google Maps. The other phase is we need to look at the website. So again, we're looking at those four things, you know, bad, bad SEO, bad call to action, bad design, and long page loading time. So let's take a look at a few examples. I've got a few examples that we can have a look at. So in this case, I mean, hopefully you can tell that this is not a great looking website. So I'm not gonna go through every single one in a lot of details. This is not a website review video, but pretty much I'm just gonna show you a few examples on what I think uh, are good examples to reach out to. Uh, maybe it's not responsive enough. Maybe it doesn't look cool. Maybe it's just missing out on, you know, better looking modern design um, You know, maybe it's just a bit too bland and simple. Maybe it's just old-school. Maybe it's not mobile responsive So yeah uh, These are just a few examples that I th that I would highlight out of the examples that we looked at Indefinitely reaching out to them. So now the exciting part I want to show you the email that you can send to these prospective leads so if you're not sure about what email to send to these leads here is a guideline that you can use for example hi john you know obviously that's the client name i'm not sure if you're aware but your google review rating of 3.5 is much lower than your competitors and it will no doubt have an impact on your revenue my name is carl if your name is carl from xyz agency and we help businesses just like yours to improve their ratings and websites to get more clients we recently helped X business increase their bookings by X percent. This line is very crucial. If you're interested in improving this part of your business, I would love to chat to you about how we can help you. Does a call work or would you prefer an email? Regards, Kyle from XYZ Agency. Use this blueprint, modify it. It's a great email outreach campaign. Now, if you're more comfortable making phone calls, I really recommend that you watch this video by Rob O'Rourke how to cold call for selling websites. Really, really good video. He didn't ask me to mention this. I just think it's really a good resource. Now I know some of you are probably thinking by now, but Carl, how many emails do I have to send in order to get a client? And the answer is that there are a lot of factors involved there, but an idea of what you can expect is if you send 100 emails, you should get around five to eight replies. And out of those five to eight replies, you should at least convert one to two clients so the reality is it requires work so don't be one of those people who give up after the seventh email a quick bonus tip if you want to stand out from the crowd is to record a quick loom video of your screen with your suggestions and include that in your email so what's my takeaway in this video very simple do not be a reactive freelancer waiting for clients to come to you because that takes time be a proactive freelancer and go out there and get your clients. That's it from me. I hope this helps. And if you are a freelancer interested in starting or growing your freelancing business, join my free freelancing community, freelancerxcommunity.com. And I hope to see you there amongst 700 others just like you.